What kind of movie is it that will make the girl after shooting the movie, the director advised her not to watch it. Even before shooting, the director was afraid that she was too deeply involved in the play, and specially gave her six months of psychological counseling. Although the film does not have a horror footage, but let the people after watching the film chills in the back. At the beginning of the story, a kitten accidentally fell into the water and was about to drown, while Emma chose to turn a blind eye to it and calmly turned her head and continued to choose the clothes to wear to school. When Emma's father retrieved the kitten from the water, her aunt covered her mouth with her hand in distress, while Emma acted calmly about it. Emma's father also reassured his daughter not to be sad and that he would find her a better one. In her father's eyes, Emma was a good girl with good character, medals all over the counter, and never caused trouble to the family. At school, a classmate is showing off her birthday present. Emma, who looks like she is not interested, is actually jealous to the core inside. So she deliberately knocked down her classmate, then pretended to be concerned and helped her up, and stole her watch in the process. The seemingly perfect little gesture was clearly seen by the teacher behind her. This day is the annual school award ceremony. Emma had been looking forward to this day for a long time, and she changed into her favorite red dress. While her father was combing her hair, she kept urging him not to let her be late, which showed how much Emma valued the award. Confident Emma looked at the glittering medal and waited for the teacher to call out her name. Unexpectedly, the teacher gave the medal to Milo, whose grades were worse than hers. Looking at the triumphant Milo, Emma's face was very ugly and the bad seed in her heart had taken root at this moment. After the award, Emma invited Milo to the back of the school to play, they came to a cliff, Milo was a little scared, said to Emma that he wanted to go back. But Emma ignored him, Milo looked at Emma looking straight at his medal. After all this, Emma calmly came to her father's side as if nothing had happened. Milo's mother asked her if she had seen Milo, and Emma said she hadn't seen him since the awards. A short time later, there were screams from students in the distance and Milo's body was found. Milo's mother was crying her heart out, she would never have thought that the murderer was the little girl in front of her. In the evening, the father and aunt began to discuss the matter. The father was afraid that the incident would leave a psychological shadow on his daughter, while Emma was hiding and eavesdropping, with a smug smile on her face. The next day, the father brought Emma to the funeral of Milo, Emma acted very sad, and the father kept comforting Emma. When she returned home, Emma licked the strawberry jam as if nothing had happened. This made her father suspicious, and when he looked at the photos from the ceremony, he found Emma staring at the medal. The next day, the teacher and the lawyer came to the home to understand the situation. On the day of Milo's murder, Emma was seen to be the last person with Milo, and the two went to the cliff together, and the school hopes that Emma can provide clues to help find out the truth. And their conversation is overheard by Emma, who is hiding behind a wall, when her family's nanny also appears behind her. As the teacher's questions became more specific, Emma broke the vase with her hand in order to interrupt their conversation. All this surprised the nanny and made her suspicious of Emma. That day, while Emma and the nanny were out for a walk, they found the teacher at Milo's house. Emma becomes worried and the nanny becomes more and more suspicious that Emma is Milo's murderer. When they get home, the nanny scares Emma, saying that if she is caught, the police will send the child who has done something bad to the little pink electric chair, and eventually until the whole person is cooked. Emma is just a child after all, and the, the nanny's words irritate her, and she begins to fear that things are being exposed. So she secretly puts the hornet's nest in the teacher's car when she's not looking. Meanwhile, the nanny finds the medal hidden under Emma's bed, and she secretly hangs it on the lamp in her father David's room. When the father asks Emma why the medal is in the house, the nanny suddenly appears and says I found it while cleaning the house. At that moment, Emma wanted to cut her to pieces. When she turned around, she was back to her harmless self in an instant. Emma explained to her father that Milo was playing a game with herself and lost the medal to her, not expecting such a thing to happen. Later, because she was afraid, she kept the medal hidden at home, and her father was once again fooled by her acting skills. The next day, 
the father took Emma to Milo's house and returned the medal to Milo's mother. Milo's mother told them that the teacher had died in a car accident on the way home because there was a hornet's nest inside the car, which shocked the father. Emma told her father that she was sad and wanted to go home in order to keep them from continuing the conversation. The next day, when the father was working at home, he found that the hornet's nest under the eaves was actually gone. The father thought that his daughter's recent abnormal behavior might be a psychological problem. So, he contacted a psychiatrist for her. Emma was so scared inside that she was so nervous that she pinched the palms of her hands and bled. At the clinic, Emma acted calmly, with a smile on her face, perfectly concealing herself. The psychiatrist thinks she is normal and has no mental illness at all, and says that talking to Emma reminds her of herself as a child. Chloe, the nanny, is getting more and more over the top since she learned Emma's secret. She found Emma and told her, your father is in love with me, I'm going to be your stepmother soon, you better behave yourself or I'll send you to jail. This time, it's direct contact with Emma's bottom line. It's not nice to threaten people. That night, she lured the nannies to a warehouse full of flammable materials. She had just stepped inside when the door behind her was suddenly slammed shut. When the nanny saw this, she rushed to pull the door, when a corner of the warehouse began to catch fire. As the fire grew stronger, the nanny began to panic and frantically shouted Emma's name. But Emma was just outside the window, watching all this coldly. By the time her father arrived, the nanny had been scorched, and after seeing his daughter, he took her in his arms. He was very worried, but the smile on Emma's face made her father suspicious. Even though Emma explained that the fire was caused by the nanny's own smoking. But the succession of murders finally made his father stop being silent. In the evening, he found Emma and confronted her. Emma cried and confessed that she had killed her classmates, the nanny, and the teacher. The father, who knew the truth, was completely devastated. He could never have imagined that his daughter, whom he had always been proud of, was actually a murderer. At this moment, there are only two ways in front of him, either to turn himself in or run away. But what parent would push their daughter into the darkness of the prison for the rest of her life? So, the father decided to take Emma to the countryside to calm down. Just after settling in, the police called and said they were sure that the fire was planned, which meant that Emma would soon be investigated. After a few mental struggles, he decides to let his daughter take the blame for her own mistakes and decides to finish her off himself. However, Emma had seen her father's every move. That night, Emma went to her father's bedside and kissed him gently on the forehead. Then she went to the kitchen, turned on all the gas, closed the windows and doors, and waited quietly for her father to die. Fortunately, the father was awakened by the odor, so he was not killed by his own daughter. After he eliminated all the dangers, he saw his daughter standing calmly by the lake, looking at him coldly. The father could not believe that his daughter, whom he had always loved and cared for, would do it to him. The father asked Emma, Why would you do that to me? I'm the only person you have. And Emma said with a cold face, If something happened to you, I'd live without Angela. The father was so desperate that he crushed all the sleeping pills into powder and poured it into the drink. He wanted to end Emma's life of sin. But Emma seemed to know all this, she offered to add some cream and took the opportunity to switch the drinks. In the middle of the night, Emma raised the gun to her father's head, and she used his hand to pull the trigger, trying to create a suicide scene. But the shot missed and her father was awakened by a loud bang. Immediately after, Emma rushed to pick up the phone to call the police, while fleeing also said that her father was going to kill her, and then hid in the bathroom. Meanwhile, neighbors heard the gunshots and rushed over. Emma hurriedly shouted for help, the neighbor saw her father trying to shoot Emma, and decisively hit him in advance. Afterwards, the police came to the scene and removed her father's body, and her aunt also came after getting the news. At this point Emma reverts to an innocent girl and throws herself into the arms of her aunt, with a chilling evil smile that foretells that something similar will happen again. The story ends here, Emma is like a wasp, once she feels threatened or angered, she will immediately retaliate. And underneath her angelic appearance is her perfect disguise.
It is said that the nature of man is good, in the face of the innocent smile in front of you, can you still distinguish the real good and evil? The film is based on the novel of the same name by William March, the novel for the first time in the subject of children's crime as a background, it can be said to have created a new era. The young actress McKenna Grace, her performance is natural, especially the scene of practicing the perfect smile in the mirror, the performance is natural, many people also like her. If you like this film, you can go see the full version of the film, if you like similar films, welcome to leave a message in the comment section, I will bring more wonderful commentary, thank you for watching, we will see you in the next video.